just got the Weeble 2 from Zune. I am very excited to try this gimbal out. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing. Look what we get inside. So one thing I really like is uh, they have like the official sticker. It seems kind of small on the detail there, but I like how uh, these like foil hologram stickers give a very uh, more authentic feel to the product. So that's just like a nice little touch. So we're gonna open this. First thing we have, we have our little manual. So we get a service card, and then we get the quick start guide. We'll look at that. Let's look at the contents. Right. Like their other gimbals, comes in a nice dense foam carry package and here we go we have our tripod feet we have a base plate height extender we have our quick relief plate lens support right here then we have our box of sorted cables here. Let's see what cables are here. Right. So we have extra quarter 20 threads. This is for the quick release plate right here. So it's nice they give you three as far as cables, we have a USB-A to USB-C, USB-C to USB mini, USB micro to USB-C, USB-C to micro again, and C to C. We have a wide variety of USB cables, depending on what camera you're going to be using with the Weeble 2. Last thing, the Weeble 2 itself. First thing I notice is, uh, compared to like the Weeble S here, uh, it's it's definitely a lot more solid feeling, a little bit heavier, but uh, solid as in feels like a, a good quality product. So we're going to go ahead and stick the feet on here and start setting it up. I will be using the Canon R6 on it today on this unboxing to try this out. That's really cool, little monitor. So first thing I'm gonna do, just get my camera and then we're gonna Stick the quick release plate on here. Now, one thing about the Weevil S that I've been using, it can support the R6 with a long lens like this one here, but there are certain times where it could handle it a little bit better. So with the Weevil 2 here, I'm expecting it to be able to handle this heavier payload a lot easier than the Weeble S did. We're gonna put this in. Now we're also gonna go ahead and put the lens support. Why not? Let's see where we have to have that. Now we're gonna put this. So this is the first time I'm going to be using this Weeble 2. So initially 
I will get my plate and attach it to the camera. Now, as far as position goes, where you want it will all depend on your camera body and lens combination. So in this case, I'm gonna keep it slid up a little bit more. Let me get something here to help me tighten it down. And now, if you have trouble balancing it with the way it's positioned, you can always go back and change it later. So there we go. All right, so I have the plate on here and I'm gonna balance it with the screen out because that is how I would use it. Now, I also wanna make sure the cable from the Weevil 2 to the camera is also correct. So in this case, we're gonna need a C to the camera and my camera uses a USB-C. So I'm going to use a C to C cable, which we have right here. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare this. Like gimbals, balancing it is crucial. If you have a good balance, the motors don't have to work too hard and you get the most battery efficiency out of your gimbal if you balance it correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and lock in some positions here. There we go. Everything is locked. It's gonna be a lot easier to stick this camera onto the quick release plate. Okay, so get this, loosen that up. And just like the other gimbals, there's a thumb press quick release here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm still locked. Everything is locked. And I'm just gonna eyeball a little bit. Okay, so before we start using the gimbal, we're gonna balance each access on its own to make sure it's working correctly. So I'm gonna loosen my forward and backwards adjustment. And that is also this first lock up here. So immediately it wanted to go forward. So I'm gonna keep sliding it until it doesn't want to go forward anymore. And right about there, that looks balanced. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it down. One thing I noticed, this lock is slightly different than the Weevil S and it's nice, it feels solid. The Weevil S is curved, but this one's straight, but not bad. So we have our forward access, forward and backwards balance there. Now we're gonna do our left or right, our roll access. So we're gonna first unlock that motor and immediately you see it wanting to turn. And I've, I've been balancing gimbals for many years. So this is um, as easy as they come now to balance them. Uh oh, I think that's it. Now I like, see the Weevil S doesn't have the, foot, the little imprint here of where the lock and unlock position is. So you only know this is unlocked or locked from the curvature of that thumb lock. Whereas this one actually has a little, little print there, which is excellent. So we got our forward roll, now we want to make sure this part here is uh, balanced as well. So we're going to unlock that, so it rotates. And for this part, I like to find where the center of gravity is for this camera. I'm going to guess it's right about there. I like this. This locks a lot, a lot nicer than this one here where it's like a thumb screw. So that's a nice change. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna guess right there. Now we're gonna tilt it and see where the camera ones go. That's actually. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's. Actually, my first number I guess was, what's the best? That's pretty good. Great. Now, we got our USB-C to USB-C in this case. And we're gonna hook it up. Now, I always prefer to hook up the USB. And what's nice is that you have your different controls. Now, this is the first time I'm using the Weeble 2. I've never used a gimbal with a flip out monitor like that. And that's really nice. I like that a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and power this on. Now, one thing I noticed that's different is that the Weeble S uses the lithium battery that is interchangeable. This has a built in rechargeable battery and it's supposed to get like nine hours uh, runtime and charges, I think less like about one and a half hours or two hours to be full. So that's actually pretty good. Now, uh, let's power this on. There we go. So first thing I notice, you see here, there's the screen with the name and it, it is in Chinese. So language, all right, English, that's perfect. There we go. All right, now I'm in English here. Now, I want to see if you guys can actually see the screen. So, that's the screen. That's kind of neat. So you have all your settings in here. Now, just off the bat, that's really balanced. It's really nice. Wow, no, no problem holding this camera with the lens adapter and a 24 to 105 lens. That should be nice. And I like using a variable zoom lens on a gimbal sometimes because you could quickly add a different look to your shot without having to take the camera off, change the lens, and then rebalance the gimbal. So having something like this that handles the weight, no problem, is really nice. Now, with the Weeble S here, I, I don't, you know, I don't think it would be able to handle the same. So we'll power this on. Now with a nice lighter setup like this, the Weeble S has been a great, great run gun kind of video setup for me. Now with the Weeble 2, this is definitely gonna be the, the beast of, of the two here. So the Weeble S, a little bit more lightweight, a little bit more compact, still has a, a nice form factor. And the Weeble 2 here, a little bit beefier, has a bit more nicer build quality. And of course, this flip out monitor is, is really nice here. Now, without going into too much details, this is my first time using it, like I mentioned. Um, uh, it, looks, it looks really good. Um, I like this joystick here. That's different. And look at that. That's great. And no issues at all. Wow, that's really cool. Now, I didn't get the combo with the video transmitter and the remote. Uh, that is definitely something I would look forward to, to getting in the future and using that setup with a remote operator. So then this way, you could have one person operating the gimbal, then you have another person operating the camera from uh, wireless. So one thing I really like about the Weeble 2 compared to the Weeble S is this form factor and this nice flip out monitor. 
I like how I could easily go into my menus here, select all these options for fine tuning, parameters, balance checking. Um, it's, it's really nice. We've got built-in time lapse, motion lapse. We also have uh, auto calibration, follow focus motor control wheel. So we have all of our adjustments in there. And um, yeah, wow, this is just packed full. So many features I can't wait to try. Overall, compared to the Weeble S, the Weeble 2 is definitely an excellent upgrade to the Weeble S. Now, I'm still gonna use the Weeble S for when I'm gonna need a camera for a light running gun setup, when I need something to handle a bigger body, have a bit more features and control, definitely I'm gonna be using the Weeble 2 here. So, I hope you liked this unboxing video and this comparison with the Weeble S and the Weeble 2. Thanks for watching.